Okay, so I've made some uh, good progress. I'm getting a good waveform here. Uh, you can see kind of the same setup before. I've got a foil plate. I've got my Arduino. And over here, there's a uh, low-pass filter and a uh, linear uh, or audio amplifier. It's like LM324 or something like that. Um, and also a pot here for gain. Um, you can also see over here, I started building the enclosure that this is going into. Um, there's my little box. I drilled out and made a speaker grill here on the side, and the speaker is now mounted in there. Um, as a result, it sounds a lot better now that it's not jumping around on the table. Um, so let's uh, plug this in and see how it sounds. That de decreasing tone is the sound as it loads out the plate here. It's uh, going through a 10 mega ohm resistor at this point, so it takes a couple of cycles to get the plate up to its resting level. Um, you can see here on the slow, on the uh, oscilloscope, let's see if I can get that to stop jumping around. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. It, it is actually uh, a waveform with the overtones already sort of baked in, uh, and it does give a much more complex and pleasant tone. There you can see in a little bit more detail. So as I move my hand, closer or farther away from the plate, it does increase the tone. I'm going to go ahead and touch the plate here and dial this in so we can really see what's going on. Um, you can see, if, if you look at uh, the actual um, Excel file that I've got up on my website, you can see I've got all sorts of tones, overtones, that aren't coming through here on the, the scope. And I think the um, audio capacitor, the audio amplifier that I'm using, is just filtering out too much of it. Um, so I'll have to work with that a little bit. Uh, but, I mean, this is an arbitrary waveform. You could do just a pure sine wave or sample in a uh, piano tone um, or a harp or a violin or whatever you want to do. Um, I'll take my finger off the plate here. And okay, so it stopped responding. The um, the sensor is um, is still just way too finicky. I'm probably going to have to find some other way to measure the distance besides capacitance sensing. I mean, it just picks up. I've got my desk lamp off right now because the ballast from the uh, in the for the fluorescent ballast was causing interference and. Um, just, I mean, you know, if I stand back here, I get a different tone versus standing here, just way too finicky. So I'm looking at ways to measure distance more precisely to uh, try and get some better control on this. But that's where I'm at. I think it, the tone itself is um, kind of what I was going for. It, it sounds pretty good considering that's coming out of a 16 megahertz processor through a pulse width modulation uh, pin that was designed to get LEDs. That's it.